What's up guys, Enrique here with another video and this time we are talking about the pocket operator rhythm. Now this might be a tutorial for some beginners but don't let that fool you because I go through some of the advanced features and how to use them at this time marker. So be sure to check them out because they're super duper powerful. But without further ado, let's head over to the desk and get into it. So roll that intro. <laughs> Alright, so with that out the way, the pocket operator rhythm. It's very similar to majority of all the other pocket operators, as they all pretty much use the same form factor. Two knobs, a little screen, a ton of buttons, input, output, fits in your pocket, and it's battery powered. So once you learn one, you pretty much for the most part know the rest, minus a few things here and there. The rhythm might have some stuff that one doesn't, and that one also might have some stuff that the rhythm doesn't. So depending on your needs, look into them to see which one's right for you. So starting off, let's take a look at the layout of the pocket operator. So in this case, we have sound, pattern, and BPM across the top of these buttons here. Two knobs for changing whichever sound you're currently on. It's kind of like a shape knob for the sounds. It could be pitch, it could be tone, it could be like a filtery sound, but that doesn't pertain to just sounds. For example, if you hold down the BPM, you can actually change the tempo of your song using the B knob or change the swing amount using the A knob but I'm gonna just tap BPM again to go back to the hip hop tempo, which is 80. So after those buttons, you have these four buttons along the side. You have a function, an effects, a play, and a write button. The write also serves as your record button when it comes to entering in steps or playing sounds. The function button acts pretty much as a shift option where basically it'll add alternate features to a button that you currently press. Some of the buttons have a function option, but most of them don't. With the buttons and knobs across the top and the side out of the way, let's focus on these numbered ones here. You have 16, a 4x4 grid in the middle of the machine, kind of on the bottom left, I guess you can say. 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 16. These are the most important buttons on the machine itself. When holding down sound, you can select from one of the 16 sounds. When holding down pattern, you can select from one of the 16 patterns. And holding down BPM, you actually change the volume. So, check this out. If you want to play a sound or a pattern, just press the play button. Cool. But you might be thinking this is a little quiet, so let's raise the volume. Holding down BPM, I'm going to press BPM and then press number 11. There we go. That's a little better. After you've raised the volume, you might be thinking, okay, cool. I know how to play sounds, but I want to write my own. The easy way to do this is to clear out the pattern. The easiest way to clear out the pattern is holding down function and then hitting pattern itself. And boom, you can see the step sequence are still going across the 16 buttons, but there are no sounds coming out. You've effectively cleared the pattern. So for those of you who are not familiar with the step sequencer, it's really, really simple. Basically steps one through 16, it moving left to right across these 16 steps is one bar of music. If I select the sound, for example, the kick drum, and I hit the right button, you'll see that the record dot is enabled here on the screen. It's letting me enter in steps within the step sequencer of where I want that sound that I currently have selected to be triggered. For example, the kick drum. So let's put some here. So what this means is that every time that red dot gets to one of these lit buttons that I have here, it's going to trigger the sound that I currently have selected. So let's find another sound. Hitting the right button, it's gonna turn off the record allowing us to play and audition other sounds. Maybe I like this one here. So what I'm gonna do is hold down sound and select that. Now you can see that our steps are gone. If I hit right, it's gonna let us enter in that same sequencer editing mode. So now let's hit play. And you can see that our kick drum is still going, but the steps are now gone. This is showing us that we are now currently selected sound two, that snare drum. So let's enter in some steps. Cool, so now that we've added that, let's try and find a hi-hat sound. Hitting right again, turning off the record mode. Maybe I like this one here. So this is another way to enter in sounds. If I press play, and make sure that the record is turned off, I can hold down the right button or the record button and actually play in the sounds manually. And 
And you can see there that I played it a little sloppy, but the pocket operator locks them straight onto the grid of the 16 steps. This is known as quantization. It kind of pushes your steps into the correct position, and then adding swing using the BPM allows you to kind of shift them off the grid a little bit, making it a little bit more lively versus robotic. Speaking of swing and BPM, like I mentioned earlier, let's speed this up a little bit. Let's take it to 100 BPM. So pressing play, holding down the BPM, I'm gonna turn knob B, and you can see our values right here on the top right. Let's see, there's 101, sure, why not? So now let's add a little bit more of a melodic sound. Maybe this one here. Holding down sound, selecting 16, you can see we have it selected there. Press play, and let's go ahead and enter it in. That's cool. All right, so now let's take that same sound, sound 16, the little bass line kind of sound, and edit it a little bit, making sure that we're on sound 16, cool, 16, pressing play, and then holding down the right button, you'll see that it turns on here, showing us that we're editing the step sequencer. We can hold down right and start moving this knob around. Maybe that's cool. Maybe I like that. So next, the most important thing to remember is holding down the right button and letting it go through a full 16 steps just to be able to lock it in. And the reason you would want to hold down the right button for a full 16 steps is because it's actually recording the automation of you moving these knobs. This can be very useful, especially when it comes to creating a little bit more of a dynamic sound. So watch this. If I press play and I hold down the right button and then move some of the knobs, and then let go of the right button before it cycles over, it'll actually record the movement of the knobs. So now that you know how to create a pattern from scratch, absolutely nothing, using the pocket operator rhythm, let's get into some of the more advanced features. So one of the features I really like about the pocket operator are the effects. You have a total of 16 effects, but what makes the pocket operator rhythm really cool above some of the others is that you can actually record the automation of you turning on and turning off the effects. So let's go through a couple. I'm gonna press play. To turn on some of the effects, you're just gonna hold down the effects button and cycle through some of them. That's one. Number four, kind of like a delay. We have a high pass. Let's see what else is down here. Almost like a reverse. So to make sure that the effects are turned off, you have to hold down the effects button and make sure it goes through a full 16 steps. But check this out. If I wanted to turn on that reverse just for the last two steps, I'll just press it, hold down effects, press this for the last two, and then let go of the effects. And it'll record the automation of me doing that. And if you want to clear that, hold down the effects and let it cycle without touching any of the other effects for a full 16 steps. Let's add some more. Maybe clear that out. Get a little wonky. Another really fun feature to use is the step multiplier. So I'm gonna press play. Hold down the effects button to clear all the effects. And we're gonna focus on this little snare drum hit right here. So holding down sound, selecting number two, you can see we have two selected. The right button is turned on or record. I can select a step and then hit the BPM. And it'll activate a trigger of either two, I believe four, eight, and 16. Let's see what else I got. You can hear it starts really ratcheting pretty hard. Make one more. Yep. And turn it off. Oh, one more to turn it off. So what that's doing, it's multiplying this step between these two. So it's turning this step into two steps between steps five and six. So letting this hit twice. It also goes up to 16, which is insane to be able to trigger that many sounds within there. So it gives it these kind of cool glitchy effects. So going back into it, let's set step 13 of the snare to do a double hit. And let's chain some patterns together. Another powerful feature about the pocket operators is the ability to chain the patterns together. So this allows you to get a lot of dynamics and a lot of cool movement within a song. So to do that, 
I'm going to press pattern and you can currently see that we are on pattern one. If I hold down the right button, then press pattern, it's saying, cool, where do you want to copy this to? Let's say I want to copy it to pattern two, five, and six. So if I go to pattern and I select pattern six and press play, it's the same thing. Maybe here we can then change the ratchet up a little bit and add another one. So now you might be wondering, how do I actually chain the patterns? It's really simple. Hold down the pattern button, say which pattern you want to play first, followed by which one you want to play next. So in this case, one to six. Press play. You can see the steps are added right there. But where this gets really, really, really fun is holding down pattern. And remember I copied this pattern onto one, two, five, and six. I can say I want to play one into two, into five, into six. Press play and actually write effects across all those patterns, giving me essentially four bars of unique changing sounds. So check this out. So now it's going to loop all that for me. Then I can even turn off record and find some new sounds, right? Maybe that one. So I'm holding down right and manually entering. And it's going to enter in those steps on whichever pattern is currently playing. Holding down the effects, I can easily clear out all the effects across all the four patterns, just letting them play through. So we got one more. And redo it. Man, this thing is so much fun. Ultimate time killer right here. Seriously, I'm telling you, I've wasted hours annoying the crap out of my girlfriend with this thing without headphones on, just blasting it in her ear. So with that, I feel like you guys now have the information and the knowledge to go and create some really cool music with the pocket operator rhythm. If you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you left it a thumbs up. If you really hated this video, please give it a thumbs down for me and let me know in the comments down below how I can make it better for you to enjoy. So if you like this video and you want to see more like them, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. It'd be a big help to me as well as the channel itself. Or better yet, follow me on my Instagram where I post other videos in my other studio using other synths and other gear. And there might be a piece of gear in there that you want to see a video of, so hit me up and let me know about it. And real quick, another big thank you to all of you who have subscribed to the channel. I hit a thousand subscribers this month, which is incredible. I was hoping to do it by the end of the month, but somehow I managed to make it happen at the beginning of the month. And that's all thanks to you guys for tuning in and checking it out. It really means a lot. Thank you guys so much. I truly, truly appreciate it. But without further ado, you guys know the drill. And that is to share the love, share the knowledge. Knowledge is power. Peace. What's up guys, Enrique here with another video and this time we're talking about the pocket operator. <laughs>